Hey everyone, I'm Anshika Rathor, student of DAVV College in Zor and this video is a part of my assignment where I am going to discuss about WDMA and how it is related to multiplexing, what are different types of multiplexing and on what multiplexing technique is DMA based on. So let's get started. Multiplexing Multiplexing is the process of combining signals and transmitting them over the same channel. What is multiple access? Multiple access is when multiplexing allows users to communicate over a single common channel. It can be said that multiple access is the application of multiplexing. Now moving further, we are going to discuss what is WDM, multiplexing and multiple access. Multiplexing is the process of combining signals and they travel simultaneously in a shared medium. Multiple access is the use of multiplexing techniques. So WDMA is the application of WDM multiplexing. We have various other kinds of multiplexing techniques as shown in this figure. We have FDM, TDM and WDM. In DDM there are two further categories synchronous and asynchronous. Now talking about WDM. WDM is the abbreviation for wavelength division multiple multiplexing and is one of the most widely used technology for high capacity optical communication systems. Wavelength division multiplexing is a technique of multiplexing multiple optical carrier signals through a single optical fiber channel by varying wavelengths of laser lights. The concept and process involved in WDMA is the optical signals from different sources or transponders are combined by a multiplexer which is essentially a combiner. They are combined so that the wavelengths are different and the combined signal is then further transmitted via single optical fiber strand. At the receiver end, deplex a demultiplexer splits the incoming beam into components and each of the beams is then sent to the corresponding receivers. Moving next, we have here fiber optics communication which involves multiplexing technique and again this is a WDM multiplexing technology which multiplexes a number of optical carrier signals into single optical fiber by using different wavelengths of light. Here we have the WDM system in which it is shown that there are number of transmitters and there are number of receivers and then the combining signals are sent via the optical fiber and separated again and transmitted to the receiver end. Now talking about the types of WDM. So there are two types of WDM, coarse WDM and dense WDM. Coarse WDM means uh, spreading out the light waves instead of keeping them together. W, uh, DWDM is is the technology which enlarges the single uh, capacity of single optical fiber by dividing the spectrum into wavelength channels. This is coarse WDM and here is dense WDM. Now we are going to talk about WDM versus TDM and FDM. WDM and FDM are very much interrelated but WDM is commonly applied to optical carrier while FDM is applied to radio carrier. In WDM all signals arrive at same time while in TDM signals arrive serially that is one after the other. In WDM single fiber gives one multiple wavelengths while in DDM single fiber yields one wavelength. Now we come to the end of our video and I would like to conclude by saying that de developed WDMS systems are usually low capacity systems relative to potential systems that current technology offers. Here are some disadvantages of WDM. Signals cannot be very close like wave carrying WDM are limited and cost of system increases with addition of optical components. This was all about WDMA. And I hope you liked the video. Thank you.